What up, y'all? It's your boy, always Joey, one Sir Grove, and this is episode 123 of Casting 495 Celebrities Worldwide, C4CW. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, midday, mid-afternoon, mid-evening, wherever the fuck you are in the world, because I don't know where the fuck you are in the world, man. Nonetheless, man, thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Yo, check it out. So what we're going to talk about, man, is we're going to talk about Saudi Arabia, and we're going to talk about this king of the House of Saud, Saudi Arabia, who has arbitrarily killed a member of the free press, a member of the news media, Khashoggi. Yo, check game, man, Pete game. So there's a lot of analyses out and about circulating in terms of what can we do as a nation, the United States, because I'm a I'm a born and raised American U.S. patriot, and I look at all sides, I weigh and evaluate all sides objectively. By the way, this is a mobile podcast, and I've talked to a lot of people from a lot of different countries, including Saudi Arabia, and I have friends from Saudi Arabia, man, who are moderates, man. They're not extremists. They're not Islamo-fascists. They're not anti-U.S., man, and they don't fucking believe that what this... uh, prince of Saudi Arabia has done is legit or legal or in any way fucking, you know, legit. So based on CIA information, that is central intelligence information, uh, intelligence agency information, CIA, man, Langley, Virginia, yo. So this dude carried out this hit on Khashoggi. They had a body double. They had it all set up. It was all fucking doctored up so that this dude would come to this embassy in Istanbul and he would fucking check in and they were like yo everything's gonna be safe homie like don't even trip we just need you to come to this embassy and shit in embassy I'm sorry in Istanbul and anyway man they fucking set this dude up they hit him with the fucking you know with the fucking toxins and shit they fucking chopped him up they put him in a fucking vat of acid man they did some you know heinous shit man that's totally brutal man and so here's the deal you got this 33 year old um, Saudi prince, right? And this motherfucker, he think that he could just run around the globe like Hitler, like Adolf Hitler, and he could just fucking kill anybody who's opposed to his rule, anybody who's opposed to his dictatorship. And he think that he could just, because, man, it's just like Hillary Clinton. He didn't think that he was going to get caught. He didn't, man, he thought, man, that he was so fucking goddamn slick. But by the same token, They weighed and they calculated and they estimated and they projected and they did the math and they were like, yo, this should go down and go down like this. They knew that there was a probability, statistically speaking, that they might get fucking caught. But they really, honestly, with the body double and shit, they really thought that they wouldn't get fucking caught. That's why they were so meticulous. That's why the shit was all set up the fucking way that it was. That's why they were all clandestine. And they were like, yo, this dude's going to come to Istanbul, to this embassy, and this shit's going to be cool. We got the body double. (sighs) <sighs> and all this shit, right? So, yo, peep game. Check game. So, here's the deal. The fucking Saudi prince, MBS, okay? Ben Salman. This dude, this dude think that anybody who speaks out against his, his, uh, his prince dumb, basically what he believes to be his kingdom, right? Because in his mind, he reigns supreme over this shit, right? Anybody and everybody in his sovereign country because he's sovereign. He's a fucking sovereign. He's sovereign. You know, he could do whatever the fuck he wants, right? Follow me on this. Mohammed bin Salman. Mohammed bin Salman from the House of Saud. He thinks in his fucking goddamn mind's eye that he could just arbitrarily kill anyone who opposes not just his reign, not just his so-called sovereignty, but his position as a Saudi prince, right? This motherfucker think that he can orchestrate the murder of someone from the United States, you know what I'm saying, from his country, from any country. He could just be killing off people who are on the news like, yo... 
The House of Saud is corrupt, like Saudi Arabia is corrupt, like the government of Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia is corrupt, right? This motherfucker think he could do some like covert option, just like kill off people, man, who are opposed, who speak out against, and who say things that are contrary to the information doctrine, the literature of his like kingdom, like the House of Saud, right? So he did a little math. Okay, in his math, this is what this motherfucking nigga thought. This bum-ass prince, right? And I don't give a fuck. You obviously understand, man. I'm Grove Teeter, man, checking in for the American people. Yo, check game. Do I sound like I'm concerned? Do I sound like I'm scared? Do I sound like I give a fuck? Nah, I don't, man, because my, my grandfather, he fought Nazis in World War II. Purple Heart lost a leg fighting Nazi fucking fascists. So let's talk about Islamo fascists, man. Let's talk about fucking Islamo fascists. Let's talk about fascists. Let's talk about motherfuckers in countries, these supposedly, you know, niggas that is like kings and princes and fucking divine right of kings that they think that they have. They think that they have these divine rights by like God and shit where they can oppress and suppress and repress like women and children and people in their kingdoms and shit. If you look, man, at the king of Saab, the prince of Saab, this dude who thinks that he's the king, that he thinks that he runs the shit in fucking Saudi Arabia. He locked up, like, man, over a hundred of his relatives, dude, in a fucking hotel, okay? And he fucking tortured them psychologically, right? That's some Nazi shit, dude. It don't even fucking matter. He fucking tortured these people, man. And this dude, he think that he's fucking running the grid. He think he could just do anything. You know why? Because I'm going to explain it to you. And here's why. He thinks in his mind's eye that because of the current so-called you know, alliance that he believes the, between the United States of America that's so tight, that's so ironclad, right? This nigga, this fucking dude who when I looked at his information on fucking uh, the internet and I peeped his intel and I peeped his motorcade and I peeped his security detail and I peeped his whole life and I peeped his fucking family tree and I peeped all of his intel and I peeped the hierarchical framework, the hierarchical fucking diagram framework, schematics, blueprints, everything from A to Z, the whole mathematics behind this nigga's existence, who he came from, where he came from, where he is now and who the fuck he is and what he's about, right? This motherfucker, he think like this. He's like, yo, I'm the Saudi fucking prince. Man, America's so symbiotically connected to me. They need me for oil. They need me for petroleum. They need me for gasoline. They need me for this. They need me, need me, need me, need me. Bro, we don't need you for shit, dude. Okay? You think you cold, bro? For killing journalists, man, that speak out against your oppressive fucking kingdom? Bro, my grandfather lost a leg in fucking goddamn World War II, dude, fighting motherfucking fascists. Okay? Check game. So this is what I don't fucking like, man. I don't like the fact that you got these motherfuckers, like this dude, this MBS, right? This Mohammed bin Salman and shit. This fucking Saudi prince, man. 33 year old dude I'm older than this fucking guy right and this spoiled ass nigga now here look I'm not even from a low class or middle class or fucking in between class family honestly man I'm from an upper middle class family just to be real with y'all right so some people would be like you jealous this nigga got money (laughs) not really I got money too dude and I'm in the United States and man I ain't on no Rico shit and I ain't killing journalists dude so, like, if you're a fucking nigga from a foreign country, and you involved in some fucking killing, some killings of, fo- of journalists, dude, like, it don't matter if you have a billion dollars. We'll freeze your fucking goddamn bank accounts. We'll send fucking drones to your fucking country, to your airspace, dude. You talk about international court of law. That shit is irrelevant to us, dude. If you do some Adolf Hitler shit, we'll come to your country, dude. And we'll fucking invade your country, bro. You'll call it an invasion. You can't be doing genocide on planet Earth, dude. We don't give a fuck where you are. You ain't no real sovereign, dude. When you start to murder people, dude, arbitrarily for no fucking reason, it's just like Milosevic, dude, in the Balkans. It don't matter where the fuck you are on planet Earth. We don't care if it's Iran. We don't care if it's China. We don't care if it's Russia. 
We don't care about what kind of nuclear weapons you supposedly have. Nigga, we alien. We'll deactivate all your nuclear weapons. We'll come into your airspace, dude. And you gonna fucking die, bro. Like a horrible death. Straight up. Like, man, you start killing people for no fucking goddamn fucking reason on planet Earth, dude. You ain't sovereign like you think you fucking are. We have technology, dude, to fucking... To come into your airspace, dude, and wipe you the fuck out. Okay? My grandfather lost a leg in World War II, bro. And he was awarded Purple Heart. And I'm his grandson. And I'm a government contractor. I'm going to tell you like this, dude. World War I, World War II, the Korean War, Spanish-American, whatever, Civil War, the American Revolutionary War. You pick a fucking war. It doesn't Vietnam War. It doesn't goddamn fucking matter. You're on this planet, Pol Pot. You know, dude, it doesn't matter. Any motherfucking where, man. Former Soviet Union, anywhere. Mao Zedong, dude, you're doing some shit, man. It's so fucking stupid ass part of the world where you think that it's okay for you to just off citizens because they speak out against your government that's a dictatorship. Dude, we'll find a way to infiltrate your airspace, to come into your country, dude, that you think is secure, and we'll come through invisibly, bro. We'll come through with invisible technologies, man. We'll come through with some shit that you can't even detect, that's imperceptible to you, and you think you fucking hard, bro? You think because you got billions of dollars because you're fucking dumb, and you got uric acid around your fucking ankles because you got fucking gout, dude? You think because you're stupid and because you're a fool and you're a stooge and you can barely get out of a limo and you have sex orgies and drug orgies and you pretend like you're pious and you're like, oh, I believe in this religion and shit. We don't give a fuck about you, dude. We don't give a fuck about you and your stupid ass lifestyle, dude. We don't give a fuck about your medical conditions. We don't give a fuck about your family. We don't give a fuck about your so-called whatever family tree that you come from. You start killing fucking members of the free press, bro. Bro, for real. You start trying to fucking murder journalists, bro. Here's what we're going to do to you. We're going to come to your country. We're going to come to your country with advanced technology, and you think you're cool, you think it's all kosher, bro, you're hating on Jews, you're hating on on the Jewish community, you're hating on America, death to America, death to infidels, death to the West, death to America, like you're selling us oil and petroleum and shit, we never fucking really needed your stupid fucking goddamn medieval oil, bro, we own and operate and Arctica, bro, and we have enough oil and petroleum to run America for the next zillion fucking eons, dude. You've been fucking played the whole time. That's how stupid you are, you fucking bum ass punk. Now, check this out. We gave you the benefit of the doubt. Even our current president was like, Well, you know, this dude, he seemed kosher. Man, you ain't kosher, bro. So, so look, I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to tell you and your fucking, your guard, your fucking, your, your, your homeboys that secure you and protect and defend you, just like the Iranians, like the, the, the revolutionary guard, okay, the Cods and all this shit, man, the Mujahideen and all this bullshit and all your fucking fantasy shit, man. First of all, you're telling women that they're slaves and they got to wear black fucking bags over their fucking bodies, dude. Okay, come to America and tell American women that they have to wear fucking black bags over their fucking bodies. Come to America and try to kill journalists in America who don't believe in your fucking gout around your fucking legs. Dude, I saw you trying to get out of your fuck. Dude, dude, fuck you, man. Listen, America, America is the land of the free home of the brave, dude, come here to America with your stupid goddamn 9-11 plots where you plotted to fucking attack America, which you did with the help of J. Edgar Hoover, and try to set up shop, dude, in a town, a city, a municipality, like, uh, I don't know, New York or LA or fucking Texas or Florida or some shit, dude. You're a bitch in America, dude. You're like, oh, I'm a prince and I could do this and that. Yeah, you can do that in your fucking stupid goddamn little piece of shit so-called kingdom, dude. 
we can not only get to you, we can not only fucking find you, oh, I've got billions of dollars that I could put a hit out on anyone. Yeah, my government, dude, There's a, there are a lot of agencies in my government, dude, and my government agencies can put out a hit on every fucking one of you with invisible stealth fucking technology. Dude, your days are fucking numbered, dude. You're a piece of fucking garbage, man. You kill people, dude, that oppose you because you're a tyrant, dude. You're a nihilist dictator. Dude, you suck dick. Fuck you and your whole military, dude. Fuck you and your whole so-called security fucking safeguard network. The people, the layers of security, the rings of security, all of your presidential fucking kingdom security and shit. Man, you ain't nothing, man. You ain't shit, bro. You ain't shit. But a motherfucking nothingness, dude. And for real, you ain't going to be around much longer, dude. And I'm telling you facts, bro. Like you think you got so much dough, bro. Hey, this is my fucking country. And you try to fucking kill off people, man, who are observant of your fucking, your mental enslavement program. You try to mentally enslave people because they don't believe in your fucking false doctrine, bro. So you put hits out on them and you do body double shit. Man, we could do the same shit to you, bro. Even ultra colder, bro. You need to fucking understand you're going to see the motherfucking devil, bro. Yeah, because, man, honestly, God created this world, and you're not nice, bro, and the devil is going to find out about you, dude, and already did, and is coming for you, bro, because you're fucking lacking.